This is Jim McConnell coming to you from Redmond, Oregon at Light Elegance HQ. Today we're going to talk about the safety of airbrushing and it's really important and I don't want to make anybody alarmed but if you're going to airbrush products, how do you do it, what do you use, and what makes it safe for you to do it? So we're going to talk about airbrushing, protective equipment, and this is primarily going to be if you're doing reactive spraying materials. So if you're spraying reactive products like gel polishes. Then we're going to talk about flammability. What's the safety of the product that you're actually spraying? And then what products are best to use and how do you protect yourself from those products? So firstly, we're going to talk about protective equipment. If you were to spray any kind of reactive component like gel polish or like old style automotive paints, you're looking at doing something along the lines of wearing a garb over the top of you, typically a Tyvek suit. And you're looking at using sleeves to help protect your skin. The sleeve goes underneath the Tyvek suit or over it, that's all taped together. You have one glove that goes on first and that goes underneath the Tyvek suit. And then after that glove's put on, you put a second glove over the top of it and all of that's taped down. The reason why is because you don't want these in large quantities, protect, uh, reactive components, to be in contact with your skin. That's just to protect your skin here. That does not protect your face, your eyes, or your lungs. So if you're gonna do something along those lines, this is typically what would be expected. So if you look at anybody who's spray painting a car, large volumes, you're looking at using a full face respirator, typically it's a supply to oxygen, and then all of the rest of the equipment to help protect your skin. We don't need to go that far, but if you're going to spray a gel system, you definitely wanna protect any kind of exposed skin and your lungs and your mouth with this, as well as something like goggles to protect your eyes. If it gets in your lungs, gets on your eyes, then you could wind up with a problem. So that's the best way to spray something that I highly recommend you do not spray. Secondly, if we were to take a look at the flammability of the products, how are they, how are you thinning down the gel polish? Most of the time you can use something like ethyl acetate, isopropanol, acetone, methyl ethyl ketone, these are all flammable goods. They're gonna become airborne. If you can smell them, they could become flammable uh, as far as what's in the atmosphere. Any kind of spark could set them off. It's highly, highly unlikely that that would occur unless you're spraying a lot of them. So flammability in a salon using an airbrush system, I think can be just fine. But I would stay away from airbrushing anything that has a reactive component to it, like a gel polish. So if you want to spray paint or use an airbrush system for nail polish, that would be okay, but those flash off so quickly that I don't think it's going to be your best bet. Lastly, what's the best products to use if you're going to be using an airbrush system? Most airbrush systems, they recommend using a water-based acrylic paint. So this is a non-reactive acrylic, and if you're airbrushing with that, it's water-based, you don't have to worry about any flammability, and you want to make sure that you keep it out of your lungs. Um, if you're using a water-based system, a, a respirator with organic cartridges is not required. Something as simple as a dust mask for you and your customer would be just fine. Okay? You don't have to worry about getting it on your skin, but making sure that you protect your skin in some way with gloves is always a benefit. And then you want to make sure that if you do use some protective equipment, you wanna make sure you wipe everything down before and afterwards because whatever you spray is going to be lingering in your environment and it's going to settle onto your table and things. So if you want your table to be multicolored, speckled, with spray paint from an acrylic-based system, uh, then don't have to worry about cleaning it up, but for the most part, you wanna keep it clean, so wipe everything down. If you have any questions on any of this, please give us a phone call or a text message or email us. Just get a hold of us and we will answer your questions. Thank you.